But I got a question for y'all. How long you think you should date somebody before you meet their spouse? Oh. <laughs> I'm just saying, for real though, because like, I mean, I just got kicked out of a relationship, man. And it's, it's tough out here. You know, people think you can switch sex or race and it'll be better, but you gotta pick your own poison, you know what I mean? You date a white man, three dates with a white man, you're gonna be in a relationship. <laughs> you date a, a black man for three years, you're gonna be single. <laughs> You date a Mexican for three seconds, you end up pregnant. So, I mean, you gotta pick your own poison out here, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, real talk, I'm just saying, you know? Like, me, it's getting worse for me, man. When I was younger, it's like my standards just dropped by age, you know what I mean? When I was younger, when I was 19, she had to have a body like, bang. You know, long hair, great attitude, play Xbox. <laughs> you know, everything, you know. Life got a hold of me. By the time I was 30, I'm like, does she have a job? <laughs> okay. Now I'm like, does she have teeth? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can deal with it. As long as she got teeth, I'm, I can work with that and stuff, man. But I'm happy, man. Like, you know, this comedy thing been going good for me. I just came from Atlanta doing a show in Atlanta. <laughs> And uh, thank you, thank you. But I'm gonna tell y'all, don't ever fly spirit, man. <laughs> they had me on a plane so small, they had my luggage on a smaller plane behind me. <laughs> so, so I'm riding looking like, I hope this plane don't make a wrong turn. <laughs> and so I'm waiting to take off. We don't even take off. We just drove here. <laughs> we just took a, day, a road trip. I'm like, man. Golly, the pot, we, oh, we're driving, the pilot's like, all right, hold on, there's gonna be some turbulence. We're hitting potholes, he's calling it turbulence. <laughs> like, gee, Louise, man. But man, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, my, so I just moved my mom in. You know, comedy has been paying these bills a little bit, so I moved my mom in, I love her to death. And, um, you know, it's pretty cool. It's just when I'm, when I'm out traveling, I come home and the house smells like white diamond and icy hot. <laughs> and, and I'm like. <laughs> but I love her, I love her, you know? And she's always trying to like hook me up with, you know, older women and stuff. She's like, leave the young women alone, son, you know? And so I'm like, okay. So she hooked me up with her friend and she's 64 and stuff. Oh, <laughs> That's my boo. That's my boo, you know? And so we cool is she just be having health issues sometimes. And so, you know, she has the health issues and, you know, my mom decided to move her in, you know. So I was like, okay, so it's me and my mom and, and my, my boo. But I didn't know she had, I didn't know she had two older friends on the other side of town that was 72. So now they living with us. I'm over here on Weldon Street looking like I'm running a hospice. I'm like, what is going on, man? For real. Um, before I get out of here, though, I'm going to just tell you, I remember the day I stopped messing with young women. I was sleeping with this, uh, this young girl, man, giving it all my might, man. I was into it, sleep, giving it to her. And she was cheering me on. She was, nice move. <laughs> Score. <laughs> Score, nice move. <laughs> OMG. I was like, oh, my God, she's enjoying this thing, man. And so I got into it and, you know, I was hitting it from the back. So I, I went to go see her face. She was playing Candy Crush. <laughs> she was on level 69 on Candy Crush, man. God, I couldn't believe this, man. I'm Monty Jonesy. Love y'all.